April. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How have you guys been? How are you doing, especially with all this virus stuff going around? You know, we're trying to make the best of it. We're getting along pretty good. Have they officially closed the schools for the rest of the year for you guys? Yes, they just made that announcement a couple days ago. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, let's jump right into it, if you don't mind. Why don't you start from the very beginning? How did all of this start and, and how, how did it progress? So a little bit before uh, winter break, uh, we knew that Kindness Week at Kayoni School was coming up and he decided that he wanted to do a project for his school for Kindness Week. I started Kindness Week the first year. I became a counselor at Franklin, which was four years ago. Her goal was to help kids learn how to be kind, um, do acts of kindness, and receive kindness. I came up with the idea to make keychains uh, from my backpack. We had been talking about Richard Sherman and how he had just paid off uh, school lunch debt and how cool we thought that was. And so uh, Keone overheard us talking about that and said, well, I can do that. And we said, you can do what? He said, I can pay off my school's lunch debt. And at that time, we didn't know how much the debt was. She emailed me and said he had this idea that he wanted to pay off unpaid lunch debts, and she wanted to know if I could find out how much Franklin owed. He just continued to make keychains, and then he was able to not only pay off the lunch debt here, but make a fund so that there is money for future debt. And then also we were able to give uh, $500 to six other schools as well. It took off. It went absolutely viral. It started with our local newspaper doing a story, and then the television stations in town picked the news up. Initially, we had sold little over 400 keychains. And then it just went national. After the GMA3 segment, then that's when we started getting the two to 300 a week. With the help of GoDaddy, we were able to launch a website, which is absolutely beautiful. We just can't even say enough about it. And that just made everything so much easier. Everything was going great. Lots and lots of orders were coming in. It was wonderful. And then all of a sudden, the COVID pandemic started happening. We really had to shift the way that we were doing business because people were not ordering like they traditionally were. So what we decided was that with so many kids home, with so many parents home looking for activities to do with their kids, um, we have decided to start offering some do-it-yourself kits. Uh, so we still stamp the beads, we still provide all of the materials, but then we send them unfinished to people so that they are able to have a craft project for their kids to do. Each month we're going to um, pick a different place to donate to. Besides doing the student lunch debt, I did my local children's hospital Dornbecker and now it's my mom's choice this month. I think for us as parents, the best thing about this project with Kayoni has just been seeing him grow as an individual, despite if he sees people being mean to each other, he comes back to the decision that being kind is always the way to go. For being the CEO of my own company feels so great because I'm being kind. My name is Kayoni Ching and I'm the CEO of Keychains for Kindness.